Hello, Leeds United fans. My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another match reaction. The game has now just finished at Ellen Road. Leeds two, Brentford two, and I, I just feel weird after this game. I was I've done a massive live stream today, and thank you everyone who was in there today. It was fantastic. Over six hundred of you at one point. It was fantastic, and. We all kind of ended it. I was quite positive, and the rest of everyone said we should be winning this game. I mean, the way we got a point was fantastic. Obviously, at the end, Bamford in the 95th minute came on after months of injury. Come on, he's got the 95th minute equaliser, which is brilliant. But I'm going to just have a quick talk through the game. Obviously, I'm just going to give you player ratings as well. Guys, remember, if you are new, be sure to subscribe right now on the channel and also smash a like. Let's try and smash 100 likes on this video. But yeah, I just kind of want your guys' opinion on this. Uh, this game today because are you guys disappointed are you happy are you happy the way we got the point is the point not good enough do we need three or are you just happy in general i don't know let me know in the comments down below so it started the game off um i thought the opening 10 it was a bit meh it was a bit 50 50 james had a half chance maybe could have got a penalty I don't know, on another day you know they can get given um and i thought just from the get-go Leeds dominated if i'm completely honest obviously then roberts got the goal uh, in the 27th minute, which was a lovely goal, actually. And he probably deserved that over the last few games of how he's played, if I'm completely honest. And uh, yeah, no, nice goal. Rafinha whips it in. Janssen heads it out and he tries again. It goes past Janssen this time. And Roberts taps in as a lovely striker's finish, I tell you. And then the, the, the remainder of the half, I thought Leeds were going to go get two or three more, if I'm completely honest. I thought we were dominant uh, in the first half, I'm completely honest. Um Thought that we had a couple of possessions. Roberts had a, a few more shots. Uh, Rafinha was was decent. I don't think he had his best game today, if I'm completely honest, Rafinha. But in, in the end, he got two assists. So I know he didn't because Aileen flicked on for the, for the last one. Anyway, um, so yeah, this, I was quite confident going into half time. We were 1 0 up. I thought, this is good. This is good. And I was thinking, you know what, seven points uh, out of a possible nine in the, in the last three. I was happy. I was happy. Um, second half started, I thought the first five, we, we were good again. Ailing had a half chance, headed it, keeper, good save. And then there was a spell between like the 55th and the, the 65th, maybe even the, the 70th. Brentford just came out us. They really came out us. They, they pressed, they, 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 they forced us into mistakes. Um, first goal, they were on the left-hand side, tried to whip it into flex off Lorente. Drops to the edge of the box. Tyler Roberts, that's poor from him, I thought. And uh, left foot finish by that Baptiste, I believe his name is. Good finish from him. And then they just started dominating. They, they won the ball back from our kickoff. They they got the ball. Sergio Canos looked dangerous. And then in the end, he, he linked up with the striker and, and Canos put it away. And he celebrated in front of the Leeds fans. And I thought, I didn't know how to feel because I was like, this is crazy. Because I thought we we were solid in the first half. And everyone's saying it's a game of two halves. So I believe it was in in, in, uh, in some sort of sense. But... Even in the second half, I thought after that little spell, I, th I thought we dominated, if I'm completely honest. Um, I thought we were unlucky to get three points today. I, people were saying we bottled it. Yeah, we have in, in a way, but I, I don't know if it's if it's as... Uh, it's, it's not good on the board, but I thought the performance-wise wasn't wasn't awful. I don't think anyone was a an 8, 9 out of 10 necessarily, but I thought we had some, some solid players in there. And then obviously we, we were knocking on the door from the 70th, and I thought from the 70th to the end, I thought we were the dominant again. I thought Brentford had a few good spells but I thought majority leads were, were were better in this game and if you told me that ended 2-2 in the first half I would have I would have been like no way no way Jose is what I would have said but and then yeah at the end we're knocking on the door had a few so I was getting annoyed with Rafinha's pass and completely honest he tries to play the, the ridiculous balls and in the end he does and uh we win a corner we whip it in Rafinha whips it in Ailing flicks it on and who's there at the back post that man Bamford who came on and I thought it was fantastic. Um, you know what? We we had a couple of early injuries with Cooper. Cooper went off. Harrison came on for Harrison had a decent game. Phillips came off just after Brentford got the equaliser. And I, I wasn't happy with Click, if I'm completely honest. And then uh, Bamford came on for Furpo in the end. And uh, yeah, you know what? He done what he, he he came on. He got goals. And that's exactly what we need Bamford for. And you know what? His, his figures this season so far have been decent. You know what? Apart from he hasn't really been in the side, he's got like three assists, two goals or something like that. And he's played about five games. Do you know what I mean? So he's, he's, he's I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Bamford. He celebrated, took his top off. Melier got involved. They're all happy. And at the end of the day, we've got a point and a point is better than none. I'm now going to go through the player ratings. Maybe a bit too harsh. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of my player ratings once I've gone through them. Um, I'm now going to show you an Elan Melier. I'm going to give Melier seven. Uh, obviously conceded two goals. I don't think he's done too much wrong, but obviously at the end of the day, we didn't win. 
Do you know what I mean? We didn't win. So I'm going to give Melier a seven. Sorry, it's not, I, I need to get a better player rating system going, if I'm completely honest. Um, at the end, Ailing a seven, back in the team. Thought it was okay. Five is average. Eight is a solid game. I thought Ailing was a seven. Full Lorente was a seven as well. I thought he had a couple of mistakes in him today, if I'm completely honest. I thought he's solid as per, but I thought he was left at the back quite a lot. Uh, which probably didn't help. But yeah, no, I, I don't know. I'm going to give Lorente and Ailing a seven. They worked okay in the centre-back partnership. Cooper a five, obviously only had about 13 minutes. So I'm going to just give him average. I don't think he'd done anything wrong when he was playing. Ferb, I'm going to give him a six. Maybe could have given him a five today. Uh, I thought, again, first off. The thing is, it's such a contradiction from the first half. The second half, I thought first off, everyone could have been a seven, eight. But then it, it is what it is. I'm going to give Ferb a six. Not his best game, but he's, he's getting better. He's getting better, I tell you. Phillips a seven until he came off. I thought he was the main reason why we conceded the second goal, not having him in that midfield. Phillips was a seven. Maybe I've been a bit harsh. Maybe I've been a bit nice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give him four sure a seven. I even think maybe that could have pushed up to an eight. I don't know. No, eight's three points, I think. But four sure again, even when we're looking looking like we not nothing's going to happen. He's always cool, calm, and composed on the ball. And he, he's, a, he's a, a breath of fresh air, for sure. So I'm going to give him a seven. Rafinha, I'm actually only giving him a seven because of the two assists. So if I'm completely honest, I don't think he was in the game much. thought we'd done a couple of skills. When we were 2-1 down, he started to get more involved. Um, but yeah, no, from, from he got a couple of assists pretty much. I mean, he didn't get officially the second assist, but it was his corner that led to the goal. So I'm going to give Rafinha a seven. Definitely not his best game. James, I'm going to give a six. Maybe that's a bit harsh. I thought he did run around, but at the end, end of the day, no, no end product as per. But he's fighting for the shirt more. You can tell he's properly playing for Leeds now. At the start, when he's joined Leeds, I thought it looked kind of like he's here for on loan or he's here just to make Man United like go, see, you miss me. Now he looks like a Leeds player. Dallas a seven. I thought he was I thought he was decent again. I, I, I like Dallas. I thought he was decent. He started, he played every position today. He played left back, central midfielder. He started kind of as uh, part of the midfield too as well. So yeah, I thought I thought he'd done very well. Obviously in the end, he moved to right back, left back. I, I don't know where he moved to, but at the end of the day, Mr. Versatile does it again. I'm going to give him a seven. And Roberts a seven. He got a goal. He got a goal and I thought he was in the good positions today. He had a couple of good efforts. Maybe could have laid it off to Rafinha for one of the uh, shots that he had. But no, I thought Roberts was decent today. Harrison, I'm going to give him a seven as well. I thought when he came on, he was all right. Maybe could have given him a six. Maybe that's a bit too much. I thought he was kind of causing a bit of chaos down the left-hand side. He, um, But at the end of the day, he just had no one in the box. Maybe I could have given him a six, maybe. I'm going to give Click a five, I thought, when he came on. Made no real impact, if I'm completely honest. Um, I think he's quite a predictable player. I like Click, but I personally wouldn't have him in the team. Uh, and Bamford, I'm giving him an eight only because he came on and he got a goal. And that's exactly what you bring on a striker for. So I'm going to give Bamford an eight. Um, and my man of the match, you know what? Fuck it. Let's give it a Bamford. You know what? He came on, he got the goal and that's exactly what we need. And we got a point and be able to put him on when we're two, one down. He brought Bamford on and look, we got a point and that's exactly what you need from your striker. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give Bamford my man of the match. Let me know who you would give man of the match to in the comments down below. And have my ratings been a bit harsh or have they been a bit nice? I don't know. Um, but at the end of the day, Happy Roberts got a goal. But I don't know how to feel. A point is a point. Points better than none, obviously. But these next four games, we've got um, Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal, then Liverpool. Obviously, we end the month against Aston Villa. So then four games. How many points do you think we're going to pick up? If you can leave it in the comments down below. Out of 12, I'm going to say four. I'm actually going to say four. I'm going to say we're going to get a win against someone and we're going to get a draw against someone. And I think we'll get pumped by Man City, if I'm completely honest. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you guys think? How many points are we going to get? Have my ratings been a bit harsh? I don't know. Let me know all your thoughts down below on this video. Guys, it has ended. Leeds United 2, Brentford 2 at Ellen Road on the 5th of December, nearly Christmas time. And yeah, was it a Christmas gift or a Grinch came? Well, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I've been Ollie Ward. Can you guys smash the like button? Let's try and smash 100 likes on this. And also subscribe if you are new. We're closing in on 4,000 subscribers. So get subscribing. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Oh.